Hey guys, my name is Wendy Yarbrough. This is a 2008 mare good song. She is hopefully my RRP horse for the 2018. This is probably her 20 or 25th ride post track. I just showed up to a mounted shooting practice. Uh, you can see she's a little fired up, wanting to go somewhere really fast. So what I'm doing before I introduce any kind of gunfire balloons or screaming youngins to her is going to just make sure we got those one rain stops down and down solid so I can survive anything that happens in the next hour or so. So when I mean one rain stop, I mean she needs to give her face and give it all the way to my boot with very, very little pressure. I want to never feel weight. I want to never feel her head in my hand. If I feel it, I'm going to bump it until it comes around. When I start getting her one rein stops down, which she's doing pretty good, I'm going to do another exercise. I'm going to push her hips to the outside with the inside foot, and then I'm going to roll her shoulders over. All inside aids, inside rein, inside foot, push the hip, outside rein, outside foot, roll the shoulders. Now she's a little soggy right now. Um, she's starting to get it. The main thing here is reward the effort. If she thinks about doing it right, I'm going to release my pressure. That's going to get her hunting it. She's going to hunt the reward, which is the release. So right when I feel it, I'm going to drop it, switch sides. This is a great exercise if you have a horse that wants to go somewhere at 100 miles an hour. Do this on them for about 10 or 15 minutes and they will settle right down. She's starting to get soft. And until I get this maneuver reasonably well, I'm not going to introduce any kind of outside stimulus to her that I can help because I do want to remain seated for the entire duration of my ride. There she's starting to get pretty soft, moving those hips over, moving those shoulders over. And once she gets it, we're ready. There's my little dog, Esme. Okay, we're in the arena. The gun's fixing to go off. I'm braced. I've got my hand on the horn. I've got my hand down on the rein. And it goes off. And I'm not scared at all because I know I've got that lateral control on her. And basically what I'm going to do is nothing. I'm going to continue on my exercises just like absolutely nothing has happened. Uh, it's a calm leadership is what you have to do. If you are taking care of some youngins and a hurricane hits and they're screaming and crying, and then you start screaming and crying with the youngins, you are going to instill zero confidence that they are going to survive the situation. You have to be the teacher. You have Good. to be the leader. Notice the reins are always loose. Jeez. If you tighten up, you're sending tension down the rein. Everything is loose, quiet, body position, nothing changes. They're going to feel that. They're going to get over the situation a lot faster than you're going to think. I'm just going to keep on with this exercise until I fear her relax. Okay, y'all, this is just a few minutes after the next shooter's going. They're fixing to shoot. And you can see the result is not near the tension that happened before. So once again, I'm just going through the motions, just pushing that hip to the outside, rolling that shoulder. She's getting a little excited there, so I just keep pushing that hip, roll the shoulder. Push the hip, roll the shoulder, and this is just a few minutes later. She's not even sweating, not puffing hard, and she's perfectly relaxed with all the stuff going around. When she settles down, which took not even 30 seconds, give her a little pet. Okay. Now pick up some balloons. She tried to get me killed. All right, head okay, here we are on the ground. This is after the shooting. And what I'm gonna do is desensitize her to the targets, which are balloons. And I apologize to everyone about my Elmer Fudd hat. Apparently my quote unquote friends out there did not bother to tell me that I look like a straight up idiot, but oh well, it's done now. So what I'm gonna do is she's scared of this. So I'm gonna show it to her and when she is still for a half a second, I'm gonna pull it away. I want her feet to be still. You cannot teach them to not be scared of something, but you can teach them that bolting and running away is not acceptable. And they learn from release of pressure. So right now I have pressure on her. Her feet are going to be still for a half a second, and I'm going to take the pressure off. Now normally I'm not going to lead them back up. I want the lead rope to stay as loose as I possibly can. 
but I'm trying to keep her in Well, horse's butt's blocking the shot. So I'm going to hold it up there. She's moving her feet. Once she's still, I release it. And she's kind of getting it pretty good. She doesn't like it up there by her head. The little horse right there thought I was coming for him. Hold it up there. Once she's good, take it away. And you can slowly start gradually, you know, increasing the amount of time. But for the beginning, all you want is them to be still for a half Good job. Second. That's all you want. She's doing really good right here. Look very pleased with her.